Convert DVDs to MP4 and watch them on your computer or phone anywhere, anytime. It's really simple, let's do it together. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. Archiving old family recordings and other video footage is really important. These videos are little time capsules for the future and will be heartwarming to look at for years to come. Today, nobody puts videos on a DVD, simply because it's not as easy to play them as it was when all computers had DVD readers. So if not for archiving purposes, simply for usability, it's good to convert DVDs into MP4. So if you're ready, follow these next steps, you'll see it's easier than you thought. First and foremost, you either need to use a computer with a DVD reader or get an external one. It won't break the bank, you can get one for around 15 bucks. Next, download the Uniconverter from videoconverter.wondershare.com if you don't have it yet. Then once you have it, open and click on the Converter tool. After placing your DVD into the reader, click on the Load DVD button here. It will load all of the files necessary in order to convert your DVD into MP4. Now, if you open up a DVD from your file browser, you'll find that a DVD uses the VOB format that contains the video data, the audio data, subtitles data, and chapters. The cool thing about the Uniconverter is that it recognizes these automatically and only shows each video file separately. Since MP4 can't handle menus like you can have it on a DVD, it will get rid of them, but it keeps the subtitles that you can choose to use or not. So once you have your DVD loaded into the converter, the next thing you'll need to do is choosing an output format. You can simply do that by clicking on the settings icon here, where you're choosing a universal format for all. There are dozens of formats to choose from, but we're gonna go with MP4 now. If your DVD video or film is in multiple files, multiple VOB files, but it's actually one separate film or video, make sure that you have the merge button down here turned on, so your final export will be one single individual file. Before you initiate the conversion process, make sure that you have an output folder chosen, and then obviously start the process. And that is pretty much it. Once you have your DVD in the MP4 format, there's a lot of things that you can do with them. For example, if we're talking about old videos, you can upscale them with the Uniconverter. You can compress them if they're too big in size. You can generate subtitles for them in case they didn't have any. And many, many more. So make sure that you stick around on the channel and explore other tutorials we have on the tool. But give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video or you found it informative. I'm gonna thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.